Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. I am SoCal Thero and today we're going to be working on our Lamborghini here. The uh, Lamborghini, I believe it's pronounced Revington? Revington? I think. I'm not good with names like I said, but uh, if you want in the comments below you can let me know if I'm right or wrong. <laughs> or correct me, either way. But uh, yeah, today we're going to be working on this. Um, as you can see by funds, I'm kind of broke again. I did work on a couple Mustangs to make some more money, but unfortunately I had to buy another level of my garage because I found a lot more project cars to work on. So expect a lot of, we'll say Japan cars coming into the garage here pretty soon. Um, these two Mustangs are in here. One's a 2005 Shelby GT 500 Knight Rider. I believe it's this one, uh, because it's black. And the other is a 2013 Shelby GT500, and both of these, again, are just going to be more cars that I work on and flip. So I have the engines already built for these things. I just have to put them in and then obviously tear down the suspension and repair what I can and replace it. But we're going to be focusing on the Lamborghini today because we've been doing a lot of Fords lately. So I already got the interior done. I got this thing pretty much taken down to nothing, and I'm going to, and I started building the motor, but... I'm going to show you guys something. Didn't realize that this car is a V12 single overhead cam twin turbo engine that's in it. So it's using the stuff from the... Uh, oh God, I can never pronounce this company's name right. I think it's Pagani. It's basically using their DLC pack that's on this game. So this thing is probably going to be our fastest car that we own. So... Right now, like I said, the interior is all done. I've never worked on one of these engines before, so this will be very interesting. Um, I'm going to go ahead, actually, and start working on the front here just really quickly while I'm thinking about it. Uh, we are going to be working on the engine. Like I said, it's actually started, and I'll show you here in a second. It's actually started on the engine, um, engine stand. It's just that I was having kind of having a hard time working on it trying to get over this part of the body because this isn't removable which makes sense but the engine sits right here like it should on a uh, Lamborghini and it was kind of hard to work with so I went with the engine stand on this one today and as you see my banner still up there uh, so here's the engine here it's a v12 never have worked on a th one of these before it's pretty much like any other engine, it seems like, but just with 12 pistons instead of your standard 4, 6, or 8. Um, I've already taken care of the bottom end of the motor because it's pretty much like everything else. Um, just there's more bolts to bolt on to this thing. So I decided to take care of that off camera for you guys to save you the, the headache of having to watch me put a bunch of uh, piston rod covers on and uh, camshaft uh, covers on and whatnot in the oil pan. So we are on to this point now. I'm going to go ahead and start mounting some more parts here. I don't know, again, because I've never worked on one of these, if they have, like, performance parts. So I have this very bad feeling that this car is going to break me right now as far as, uh, oh, man. Yes, they do. And since this is going in my personal car collection, I'm going to be buying all the best of the best for this thing. That was not the correct one. Damn, and I already bought the wrong one. B12B. Yep, which means I bought the wrong one of that one too. There you have it. Already off to a great start. Um, gonna have some extra parts here. I don't know when I'm gonna work on another V12 again, but I'm sure I will. I uh, I might come across another one of these. You never know. Um, if I recall correctly, I won this at an auction, so. The likelihood of it is very rare, but you never know. Like I said, I might find one in a junkyard, but I doubt it. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and do all of our upgradable parts to this thing uh, that we can now. We're going to be installing all of those. There is, like I said, there is a lot to this thing. Uh, Turbo V12B. Um, and then again, I've never worked on one, so we're going to be going through... We're going to be going through this a lot. It looks like there's two. Of course, they're expensive as hell. And of course, I have two working ones because I bought this car again at an auction. So a lot of the stuff on it was salvageable. But it's just 
Yeah, of course, that's going to be broken. It's just that um, it's going to be my personal car, so like in my personal collection. So I want it to have the best of the best, basically. Uh, cam gears. Oh, of course, I don't have any right now. And then we're going to need spark plugs, which I don't have any of. And we need camshaft caps. So let's go ahead and get the spark plugs. I don't remember how much I need. I just bought 12, not thinking about it, though. We'll probably have to buy some more. Four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we definitely need to buy twelve more. Jeez. Yeah, this car might break me. I might have to. I do apologize if this does happen, but I might have to do this in two, um, two separate episodes just because of the fact that. This car is going to be very expensive to work on, and I don't know how much money I'll have left afterwards. <laughs> and I'm definitely glad I bought those two Mustangs to work on, because I'm going to need to recoup some money after this. Uh, coil pack V12B, I'm sure is not something in here, but it's always good to double check. And yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so... Go up to here, we're gonna be looking for a coil pack V12B. What we're looking at. Uh, it'll probably be here, yep. I'm sure we'll need two, but I just, I can't risk the uh, funds right now. So we need that, we need the camshaft caps too for V12B, and we need one, two, three, four, five, so we need 10 of those. So let's look for camshaft, or yeah, camshaft. Oh, where the hell are they? Camshaft cap B12B, and we're gonna need ten of these. And then I need that coil pack for the other side as well, I'm sure. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that. And then, like I said, some of this car will just be the same. I won't have to worry too much about it because it's not gonna take an expensive part. And I should have fixed it, but we'll see. I know, um, well, I, I don't know for sure, but I want to say some of the body paneling broke when I took apart the car and tried to fix it. So I'll probably have to buy some more um, exterior parts too when we uh, get to that point. So we're going to get the last of these caps on right now. There we go. Okay. And then next thing, intake manifold V12B. That might be a, a special thing. So we're going to just double check to make sure. Intake manifold. Here's the intake manifolds. V12B. V12 there it is. All right. Well, at least I looked this time before I just bought it. And of course I have one because, I mean... I was able to fix the one I had. Uh, intake manifold or manifold over V12B. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. That doesn't look like it's a thing. Okay, and then next thing will probably be a throttle too. Which throttle V12B? Yep, there it is. Of course, everything I have is in good working condition. <laughs> fuel rail V12A. Okay, so I got to be careful. The fuel rail is totally different. There we go. Of course, it's a performance part. But this might be, and I mean, it makes a lot of sense because of what it is. It might be the fastest car that I have and that I work on. So we're actually going to start getting these cam gears. It looks like we need two cam gears. And then I know those won't be in there, so we can get them from here. And I'm surprised I don't have any because it, it, well, it doesn't sound. It looks like it just takes regular cam gears, which is what the normal V8 motors do. And I usually stock up on these. I might have used the last of them when I worked on that uh, those two Mustangs. Oh, thank God, the timing chain was intact. And this thing? Eh, of course not. 
Oh, timing cover B. Okay, that's intact. I don't know why I have two of those, but okay. Oh, this is why, because that the other side. Okay, cool. So those stayed intact. Go ahead and put an idle roller on because it's asking for it. This thing I don't have, but I could find it. It's probably down here, and I've probably come across it a few times to kind of know what it looks like. It's kind of a unique looking part. Um, here it is. Oh, these are sprockets. Oh, maybe not. Oh, there it is. Timing gear V12B. Put that in. Then we'll be able to put the cover on. Thank goodness all of these covers stayed intact. I didn't lose any of them. Water pump. I don't think the water pump has an upgrade to it, but you know what? We might as well check. Might as well check and see. Um, I think too, which is going to really, really suck. I think the transmission on this thing is uh, has a upgraded one in the gearbox. So I know that's probably going to really set me back working on that too. All right, crankshaft pulley I need to buy some more of. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. I know that's going to be in here. And I think it said it was a V8, so it just uses the standard V8 one. There you go. And then it's going to need the belt. Yep. Yeah. Uh, head cover. I don't think a head cover is something that's a part, that's a performance part in this game. But, I mean, it's always, like I said, I want it to be the best, so I got to make sure. I'll double check, but it, yeah, it doesn't look like it is. So we're going to need a head cover for a V12. Oh, that's an A. Oh, there's a lot to pick from. <laughs> um, there's a V12B. I probably need that. This thing seems to be like a V12, so. Yep, I needed that. So good thing I only bought that because I wasn't sure. We got that put on now, and then we need head cover A, V12B. Oh, that was the one I just bought. Or no, I did buy the B. Oh, I don't remember now. What did I buy? I bought the B, okay. And I didn't need it after all. Damn it. See, that's what happens when you don't double check. I had two of them. Actually, yeah, I had two of them for some reason. I don't know why I had two, but I had two. Uh, Serpentine belt B, V12. We'll need that. Scroll down here to all of our belt selections. Uh, Serpentine belt B V12. We'll need that. And then we'll probably need an A too. So let's take a look while we're here. Uh, Serpentine belt A V12. Yep, there we go. We'll get that. Get all these belts done and put on. Oh, belt tensioner. I bought a few of those. That's another reason why I'm a little bit poorer too is I... Uh, did a lot of stocking up of stuff. Intercooler set V6B, or V12B rather. That's probably going to be something in here. Let's see. Intercooler set V12B. Well, what did you look at that? Of course it is. Son of a bitch. Oh, but does that look ever so pretty? And that uh, nice chrome or polish finish there. Um. Intercooler cover A, V12B. I'm sure that's not something in here, but like I said, it's always good to double check just to make sure. Which it's not, so we're going to put that on. We got that one too, so that's good. Those lasted. Intake manifold over. That's the one I mentioned earlier that I didn't get. So intake manifold is here, but I don't see an over... Oh, here it is. V12B, that's probably it. What the? I said I didn't have it earlier, and now I have two. Shit. Well, that hurts. That's money not needed to be spent. Yeah, I'm going to be real broke. I might have to fix these two Mustangs and then fix up some more cars, too, or take some jobs. But it looks like everything's done with this motor, so we're actually gonna oops, gonna actually take the motor off. 
And again, the reason why I'm broke is I had to buy a floor for more of my cars. And then also, these two cars have completely built engines. They're both V8 superchargers, so they're done. I just have to put them in with the engine stand like this. Um, this is not going to be legit, but we're going to do it anyways. Nope, not pull out. We're going to install this motor. There we go. And now we can get this out of our way, even though the motor's back here. So the engine's in now. It looks like it doesn't need anything else. So I could probably... Oh, you know what? Let's put the exhaust in while we're looking at it. Oh, that looks so cool. This sucks it says pagani on it even though this isn't a pagani but again limitations only limitations um let's go ahead and put oil on the motor the last thing i need to do is where the hell is it where the hell do you put oil in this thing am i missing something I guess, oh, there it is right there. I was like, where the hell does the oil go? Again, engine I've never worked on before, so it's going to be... It'll be a little hard to tell where everything's at. All right, so we got that all done. We're going to go ahead and raise the car up. And we'll probably buy our last um, kick-in-the-pants part for this thing, which will be the um, gearbox. This is a gearbox V12B. So, oh, gearbox V12B right there. Ouch, that hurts. This car really does hurt to work on. <laughs> I can't stress that enough. So, we'll put this on. Oh, but it looks so good, though. Like, that is... Oh, man, that's a good-looking car. I bought a couple starters for the Mustangs, but luckily I had an extra one there, too, for this thing. Um, let's go ahead and put the rear axle knuckle housings on. These should have all lasted after I, uh, took them off. I don't suspect too many suspension parts broke. At least I hope not. Just because, um, the car again was from the auction. So a lot of the stuff should have repaired successfully, but I don't know. I did hear some stuff that broke, so... I'm just hoping it's like very generic things. And of course, I'm going to get that game lag because I bought those 100 rubber like comment things. Double wishbone shock absorber rear. Oh, I bought the wrong ones of those. Well, that sucks. <laughs> shock absorber rear. We're going to need two of those and we're going to need two of these and we're going to need oops, two of those. So we're gonna have to buy those and we're gonna have to put those on or assemble them together we'll do that right now so I ended up buying I bought <laughs> I bought the front suspension twice thinking that's what it was I didn't see that it said rear that's totally my fault again unspent or unneeded spents on money but with suspensions it's not too bad because usually it'll It'll go somewhere. Like I'll have, a, I'll come across a car that I'll need it. So it's, it's usually not too bad. Let's go ahead and put this in. Get this put on. Get that gas tank in too. I think I bought the fuel pump already. Nope, didn't. And that is a performance part. So we're gonna go ahead and get that. There it is. Let's, and of course I buy it and then I put the wrong one in anyways. Oh man, starting off strong here. Alright, there we go. Now we're going to continue working on this. And this thing had some really expensive wheels and tires on it. And unfortunately, one of each size broke. So it has a 20 inch rim and a... Oh man, and look, it's trying to put the Mustang wheels on. But uh, yeah, it had a 20 inch rim in the, I think in the front, and then a 21 inch rim in the back. So, two different rims, two different sizes. So, let's, oops, of course, that's not going to star pattern, right? Let's get that. No, no. Oh, 
close enough. There we go. So that's the 21 inch in the back, and now we're gonna work on this side here. I think I should have everything to finish this car mechanically wise. About the body though, I'm still unsure, but I think I have everything because most suspensions in this game are pretty much the same. And I don't think anything broke, and if it did, I should have the replacement part already because I keep a inventory of it. Oh, let's go ahead and get this one on. Yeah, the other thing that gives it away is there's actually a rear wheel, a front wheel that uh, go on the on the Pagani, and is the wheels that this car happens to use. So it makes it a little bit easier. All right, so the rear end of this, well, yeah, the back end of this car is done. Go ahead and start on the front. Steering rack. Looks like I'm going to have to buy a few of those soon. Go. If I remember correctly, though, this car doesn't use any kind of, like, a, a support or brace up here. So that was kind of cool not to have to spend money on that if it did break. So I guess there is a positive to it. But, yeah, as you can see there... I have four of the suspensions for this car, but it's, like I said, it's fine. It's something that I'll eventually use anyway, so. Oh, but I don't have that. Okay. Well, let's keep it going then. We'll see if I'm missing anything else, but I'm definitely missing a sway arm. And I need some more of those too, it looks like. I should have enough for this car. Luckily, like I said, most of the engine is done on the other car. So it won't take too long to uh, make money again. Let's see, we're on suspension. We need that sway bar end link. I th think it said B, so we're going to buy these in pairs. We'll buy 30 of them. Again, it's another part I just stock up on because I have a lot of vehicles that I come across that use it. And then this is going to use the front one, which is a 20 inch rim. I'm going to move over here to try to get that star pattern for you guys. There we go. All right. Now we are on to the passenger side of the car. Let's go ahead and get this all put on. I should, like I said, have all the suspension parts now after the... Um, a little tobacco there with the sway arms. Of course, this car was actually in really good shape. It was at like most of the parts were at like 70 or 80 percent, which is pretty good. But I, then again, it is an auction car, so it makes sense that it's that good. But at the same time, a lot of them did break when I was working on it. And being that it's going into my collection, it needs to be nice and it's the only way I like to keep them. We're going to put this last wheel on right now. There it is. Be glad for when I'm done with the Mustangs. All right, there's the star pattern. So the suspension's done, the engine's done, the interior's done. I want to say all that's left is the body, but let's just double check. Because like I said, I've never worked on one of these before or a 12. Oh, the timing chain has got some sort of perk to it. Yeah, it looks like it's just the body of the car. So we're actually going to move the car into the paint booth now. Just so it's easier to work on. And walk past the Mustang graveyard there. <laughs> Yeah, let's go ahead and start assembling this thing. And so that's still intact. That's not. That's still intact. That is. Hood's there. Okay, the headlight is still there. I wasn't sure if the headlights were there. The, it, I could have sworn they broke. Trunk. Or bumper. Trunk window. That's something that broke. Alright. So, let's do... Oh, we're gonna have to go in here, and then... I'm gonna have to look up... As you can see, I was looking up something else. 
That's spoiler alert. That's the uh, one of the cars I got. <laughs> Let me see. I don't see anything in the way of tinted windows, so we'll just buy the regular ones. And that should do it. Let's see. That's on. I really do like this color, but I think I might have to do something exotic because it's a Lamborghini. Like a yellow, but I think the if I recall correctly, the rank this model of Lamborghini. I'm not a fan of Lamborghini, just FYI. Um I, I think with this model of Lamborghini, it only came in this color, but I'm not positive. It came like in a gray color is what I want to say. But like I said, I'm not a big fan of uh, Lambos. More of a Ferrari guy. Lambo. We'll do SoCal Lambo by one. Is who puts a front plate on a Lamborghini? Because, I mean, it is a Lamborghini. There we go. All right. So, everything on this car should be done now. Yep. And the value of it is not as high as I would kind of hope for. It's only $113,000. Which is pretty high, but the Ford GT in this game, the 2017, goes for way more money than this. So... It's kind of a letdown, I will say that. Um, why is the paint thing not working? Let's see if there's any liveries. I don't, yeah, it's nothing. Okay, we'll just set it to current. We're gonna paint the parts that I just bought even though I didn't really need to. I mean, they were just glass, but just to be on the safe side. We're gonna go ahead and dyno this thing too, cause I mean, the V12, I don't work on the V12s too often. Uh, it'll be pretty cool to see what this thing does and then I'll try to take it out on the track too and see if I can actually manage it I doubt I'll be able to but We'll see all right. Yeah, I'm sure I want to proceed uh, Factory engine power shows that this thing should have 597 horsepower and then uh, I'm assuming again as always that's the torque which is 837, but I cannot be sure So we're gonna Get this thing going now, see what it does. Holy cow! 1,042 horsepower. 74% gain. This thing is going to be an absolute beast. Let's go ahead and move the car uh, over to the entrance because I just want to sit in it and take a look at it and let you guys see it. Go over here and take a look at it. Just look at it. Look at that. All right. So I already know. Yep, it opens like a Lambo. That's cool. Looks like a Lambo inside. Of course, the person's thing. Uh, we're kind of sitting back in the seat here. Oh yeah, that sounds really, really cool. All right, well, let's go give it a, a wander on the speed track here, see if it'll work. I don't know if I'll be able to hold this thing together with the keyboard and mouse, but we'll see. Over a thousand horsepower. I was having a hard time with a 700 horsepower V8 in an aerial atom, so I'm sure this will probably be just as hard if not harder <laughs> oh that sounds good though all right here we go all right it seems to be holding pretty good oh it's starting to wander starting to wander yep there it goes right in the wall <laughs> Yep, I tried to fix it. I tried. It started to wander off the track. Let's try that again. Oh man, yep, that's, we're dead. 
<laughs> we are so dead. We went through the roof. <laughs> Man, the thing just like all of a sudden turns into an airplane. Let's see. I let off the throttle, get back on the road. Oh, no, 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 yeah, that's bad. Oh, man, that's bad. All right, let's try this again. Third time's a charm. If not, we'll call it. I know we're going off, but we're going to use this just to try to get it. Holy cow. Man, that was uh <laughs> that was pretty bad at the end, but uh it was still it was still pretty good. It I at least finished it. I didn't think I was, but I finally did and it and it tapped out it seems like uh, we did 288 kilometers an hour. I'm converting that right now on my cell phone with Google. It says we did about 179 miles per hour doing that. So that is really, really fast. Um, no wonder the car kept flying off the track and having some issues. I mean, I know we started to go off of our lane there, but if I tried to correct it, it would have just blew into a wall again. But luckily on the third time, it was it was good. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna bring the car back in here now into the shop. Perfect. So even though it should be completely totaled after that terrible speed run, it's uh, it's in great shape as always because uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 18. But let me know in the comments below, guys, what you think. Uh, like I said, I'm not a big Lamborghini fan, but I do respect the model because they do a lot of work to these things and put a a lot of handwork and effort into this uh, these cars, so I do respect them. It's just I personally couldn't own one of these things. I would prefer more to have a Ferrari myself, but that's that's just me. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. If you're new to my channel and you enjoy this content or any other content on my channel and you'd like to follow me for some more, please hit that subscribe button down below. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job and that you'd like to see more. If you've already subscribed to my channel, please hit the like button down below if you enjoyed this episode, as that's another way to let me know that you'd like to see more of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. But with all that being said, guys, thanks again for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Take care.